Hello everyone, um, today I got a rifle, uh, I just recently bought it and uh, today I picked up from the dealer it's a Savage A22R um, it's, uh, I have been so thinking of buying it for quite, quite a long time uh, for obvious reason um, this action um, re recently the Northern Territory government uh, has banned the linear, all the linear action uh, uh, rifles um, and reclassified them so this rifle is banned in the Northern Territory, um, but after the the ban, I, I bought it because um, ACT is not banning it, and um, Northern Territory banned it because um, they believe it can shoot really fast, but I, I don't think so. Um, from the first thing I realized is it's so heavy. This release is about five kilo or even more. If you have that much force or time to pull it you probably already have a time to do a lever action or a pump action like uh, cycling it's really heavy really really heavy I, I, I do mean it's heavy so if you, when you're shooting rabbits and then you try to pull back and then shoot again um, we after you use that much force um, it probably be hard for you to shoot accurately again in a very very short time so I don't think that it's dangerous thing this rifle is a uh, probably equivalent or even slower than a lever or a pump. I think pump probably is quicker <laughs> or easier to shoot a moving target and then move. But this one, eh, really heavy, heavy like hell, serious. And um, uh, another thing I realized is uh, it's um, probably we should say call it uh, a savage um, signature. It, it's a rough finish. It's so rough. This rifle is like eight hundred dollars, and um, this is a stainless version. And in some of the Sydney shops. They are selling them for like nine hundred dollars, and we are paying nine hundred dollars. <laughs> Look, even the mold, the seam is still there. You can feel it. You, you never feel that on you. You never find that on a CZ. And a lot of the parts, like it's really roughly finished. If you look at the details, I mean, it's really rough. Um, like even this, probably call it um, a trigger shoe or something. This is a bit of plastic, and um. Another thing uh, Savage was famous for was um, its um, AQ trigger. AQ triggers um, is famous because it's um, the, the, it's safe and uh, also it's very easy to control. Um, but this one, there is no no no, there is no AQ trigger. This is a, a trigger shoe, a plastic trigger shoe. They just put it on the outside in the front of uh, of the trigger. And uh, at the back of uh, back, at the back back of the trigger, I can feel it. Feel the middle there has a, it, there is a slot, and so they just uh, probably share the same parts, the same trigger parts as the other Savage bolt action rifles with the Accu trigger, and uh, they just put this um, plastic shoe to onto onto the onto the top to cover the the, the little slot, and it's not well covered. If you if I move it, if I try to move it, that's not from the moving trigger. It's from actually the moving plastic cover very dodgy <laughs> I don't think there will be a cause any reliability issue but it feels like <laughs> not very good and um, this is another thing let's have a look it, it looks like it's free floating from here there is a, a seam can you see two of the very big seam but it's actually not it's not even a a free float rifle. It looks like, but it's not. But I suppose on a 22, it doesn't matter. Especially on a blowback 22, a lot of the energy uh, from the powder uh, were wasted onto the onto pulling onto pushing back this um, blow action, and um, and and uh, and so it wouldn't. I wouldn't expect it to be accurate as a bolt action. So therefore, maybe that's probably the reason they, they didn't even bother. Although it looks like it doesn't go through the paper. <laughs> um, another thing I wish to mention is that it's um, safety. So the safety is a button uh, on the in front of the trigger, and um, so basically you can um, now it's uh, it's like loaded, see, and uh, then you can pull this trigger, and then you, you sorry, this is the wrong wrong side. <laughs> I was doing it the wrong way, and. Uh, and uh, now it's, I think, when, when you see the red, it's the red fire. When you push down, it's, 
you can't shoot. And uh, it feels funny when you when you push that to the safe, you can press in a little bit. I just feel a bit uncomfortable when doing that. <laughs> I don't know if, if it's reliable or not, but but feels you know. I'll do it again. Safe. See, it goes inside a bit. I mean, this trigger. It's not a shoe. It's the trigger. It goes inside a little bit. A little bit step. It feels sort of unsafe for my 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 heart. You know, I think it's, it will be safe, but it's my feeling. And um, uh, another thing I wish to mention is that it's safe safe design. So uh, let me let me just. Uh, Release the release the firing pin. No, it's released. And uh, now when it's released, so it's equivalent to the after shooting. Like after the after it's empty and the the the, the firing pin is released. So if I press the safe safe, it's actually half in. Can you see the? It's half in. You see, half in. It's not in. And when I pull, then it. The safe goes inside. I don't know what's inside. I haven't got a chance to strip this rifle, but it feels strange to be honest. <laughs> Especially after I used like a CZ for so many years, and uh, um, like you know those CZ 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 rimfires, they they lock the bolt, lock the firing pin inside, and uh, um, it feels secured. But this this type of um, safety doesn't feel that much security. For <laughs> I don't know if it's. I I think it should be safe, but I haven't got a chance to open it. I'm very curious to see how it works, and um, <laughs> that's that's the one. And uh, another thing is uh it says tested with a CCI ammo, and um, actually it says two two types of uh, ammunition. One is the uh, uh, mini mag, 22 mini mag. Another one is a uh, subsonic. So mini mag is a, a high velocity round. So this rifle uh, should be able to handle from subsonic to the high velocity from the information here. Uh, I think it, it, it's uh, probably cooperating with the CCI or something. Try to sell more CCI rounds. Um, but this is the info. This information is uh, important. So it should handle. It should be able to handle both of the um, speed. Another very important information i wish to share is this it's a magazine so this is a savage original magazine that comes with the rifle look at it there's a hinge on it hinge and a spring so this is a reliable design i think this will last a long time but look at this this is what i received from cleavers at the same time buying buying the rifle so i bought a few extra spare magazines these are also authentic original uh, savage ones but look at that look at that it's a pla it's a plastic this is a like a polymer molded polymer spring and um i did look at the, the savage website they only have one year warranty so which means after one year you're on your own so if these things break you'll be fucked <laughs> 60 bucks you have to buy a new one these are plastic springs and uh Maybe they were reliable, maybe they're not, I don't know. But from looking at it, it's a bit dangerous. If there is any chance I can buy this one, I'll buy this one. But I haven't seen one. This is the proper one. So let's go to the range. I'll go to the range now and uh, um, shoot a few rounds, see how it goes.